freeze-dried water. The point of doing freeze-dried water is not because you'll end up with freeze-dried water that's ridiculous. Uh, the point is I want to show what happens to the water. The fact that it's sublimated, it just simply disappears. It never gets anything wet. I'm going to put it on a piece of uh, craft paper and I'll show that here. So get a little, little drop of water and you can see it very quickly shows up a dark spot. But at least we could make it kind of fun and interesting instead of just an ice cube sitting there. So here's what I've got. First, some distilled water. And I'm going to be transferring this into the freezer to make the little cubes. So I'm going to get them well, half, two thirds full. So distilled water, tap water, And then tap water with a teeny bit of food color so we can see it better. One drop of food coloring. So that will be this third set of cells. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in the freezer uh, to pre-freeze and then it can go in the freeze dryer. First row, and that's the distilled water, and then the tap water, the food coloring water. I need to be able to see it, and I need to be able to see the paper around it. So I'm going to move some of the water ones out further. Okay, I think that should show. I've been asked a few times if the frozen food melts in the freeze dryer and gets things wet. This video is to show what happens to the water in the freeze dryer. Okay, it's in there. Then I'll make sure I can see in there well enough. It looks pretty good. Okay, once it's cold enough, I start the machine and they slowly, over a period of hours, all the little ice cubes slowly disappear. I find it very interesting that it leaves kind of a film layer at some points. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a residue off of the mold or what, but then that slowly disappears also. And as the tray heaters turn on and off, the filmy areas seem to kind of dance around inside there. It's really kind of neat to watch, at least on high speed. In real time, it's kind of slow and boring. As you can see, the paper never gets wet. It just simply sublimates away and then it uh, re-solidifies or desublimates on the inside of the chamber. That's what's on the walls of the chamber when you open it. And then it slowly just simply disappears. with the distilled water having almost nothing. And I wonder what that is. Maybe a little bit of dust or something that was on it. Okay, so I'll take this out and have a look at it. This is the way it was in there. So this was the distilled water, the tap water, the tap water with the f one drop of food coloring. Now, unfortunately, I opened it uh, to check some drying of another thing. Well, it wasn't on video and these pieces kind of flew around because they basically weigh nothing. It's the strangest, strangest stuff. So the, the food coloring, there's the, what's left of the food coloring. The distilled water had very, very little of any residue. I'm kind of surprised it had any. Um, 
but what it has is so little you have a teeny teeny bit of powder and the uh, tap water had more but still very little 